Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt His tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, here by faith. Good morning, Holy Spirit, for a day of yet another change and peace. Lord God, thank you for the great transformation that has taken place in our lives. Indeed, change since I was born in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the early days of each year are traditionally a time to freshen up our thinking about the changes we would like to see in our lives. And this year, 2023, is no exception. And that is the goal of this first month and second month of 2023. I believe, and rightfully so, isn't it? This calls for standards of commitment that will bring change for better, which is a never-ending process, what the Bible calls sanctification. And the beginning of each new year is the perfect time to step back and see where we are and set our sights higher during 2023 year. Beloved, focus on our relationship with God, our commitment to prayer and Bible study. Again, my dear friend, focus on your relationship with God your commitment to prayer and Bible studies. Also, our relationship with others more than ourselves and expanding the horizons or range of vision of our faith beyond our local community. Friends, I found that the more faithful we are in the daily objective disciplines, of the spiritual life, such as prayer, Bible study, and witnessing, the more mature 
I become in the anointing areas of my calling. If we are not spending time in the Word and in prayer and in talking to others about Christ, we will invariably develop a narrow, self-centered view of life and the needs of our world. When the goal and godly purpose in front of you becomes more powerful than the obstacle behind you, especially with regards with implementing your resolution in 2023, you will always win. Those spirit-led actions you will boldly take transform your destiny. Don't let what people think stop you. Whatever God has anointed you to do, do it. Remember, when your faith is the strongest, you come up under the greatest attack because the enemy is trying to detour, detour your destiny. It's not so much where you are going. It's what you are willing to let go of to get there. The Bible says in Psalm 55 verse 19, it says, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. Beloved, now it's time for a change. Therefore, view yourself as a person with option. Seek God for your destiny and make fruitful decisions that agrees with the word of God for your destiny. Bye. God richly bless you. All the way my Savior leads me Cheers each one soul a thirst may be gushing from the rock before me is a spring of joy I see gushing from